Look at your Bible with me. Luke chapter 2, verse number 7. Luke chapter 2. If you have if you are happy this morning, you are alive, stand to your feet. Luke chapter 2, verse 7. And she brought forth her first son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Lord, this is your word. Bless your word. Let everyone under the sound of my voice be blessed. Lord, interpret this word into our destiny. And let the world produce life and turn around. Genuine salvation and revival. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. That amen is it, amen, or something like amen. Sit down, God bless you. This morning, I'm sharing a topic I titled, God will locate you. Mary and Joseph went home to be taxed or to be counted according to the demand of the government at that time. And Mary was already carrying a child. And suddenly it was time to bring forth the child. Labor started. And the Bible said, the child was born in a manger not because they did it out of happiness. No, it was out of condition. That's to say, Joseph did not have a place in his father's house. Things were too hard that he don't even have a room. Because of the inflow of people at that time, so people who normally give him one room when he visited home, didn't have a place to give him. So the only place to settle was a place made for animal. That was where a man with a pregnant woman which you know that that environment is not too good for health because you know where animals set, you can't compare it to where human beings live. When labor started, that where the Messiah came forth. And you know that every great, every human being, let me put it this, every human being celebrate their first child very well, three of us. Very well. Because this is your first experience as to be a father. It's common with man. Every man, every woman, first child. Hey, it's like heaven on earth. But their own imagine their first experience that's the level of their strength financially and otherwise they brought their first child no money for hospital no good room no bed it was a place made for animal that the woman fall into labor and brought for the first child and it happened that the first child become jesus himself but watch this look at where i'm heading to if men knew it was Christ coming, they would have done eye service. They would have offered him a palace. But God took them on a way and showed up. Can I talk to somebody here? If the family of Joseph had regard for him as a man, they would, they would have had, not even if not for him, for the baby, the one pregnant woman, but they look down on him and say, now we put you like that. You make money. You forgot build house. So nobody mind him. Carry your load. Who born? Make it rain. I think that's a common language in the family. <laughs> because if it happened that he has something or is someone respected, they would have offered him a place. But they ignored him and the wife. And that was where they stayed and labor started. And the woman delivered. You say this God, the way he does things is not the way me and you think. At times you want to use human understanding to compare God. But Isaiah 55 said the heavens are far from the earth. That's the way the wisdom of God and his understanding is far from us. And the young child came forth. But look at one thing that gave me joy. First baby, there was no complication. Labor didn't took time. He was surprised that other people, they, but ah, he and the husband, baby came out. Nah, nah. We are hearing the cry of a child. But I perceived that when even get back, they didn't murder. What you born now? Nah, you born with the person never born. But I want to show you what shocked me. She brought the child in a place I have no address, but heaven was interested. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. Where you are now, nobody demands you. 
But I want to let you know that God is aware of where you are. What is about to give you will shock men. As it like that's why they do it. Hey, he was aware the Messiah was coming. He knew the house was coming, but ignore men, allow men to do their own so that he can become God. I thank God allow men to ignore you so that he can prove himself in their life. If men make you, they'll take the glory. But God will allow things to go out of hand so that men will not take the glory. He said, I am God, I change it not. And there is nothing too difficult for me. He said, but my glory will I not share. So that it will not be that man gave God a house to stay. No, no, no. He has everything. He will to pour. He will go he would chukune he He I bring you good news. You are the hope they are looking for. You are the one that they are looking for. All you are waiting for is time. For he make all things beautiful. He is time. He butchuk we will give my do. He butchuk we will give my He butchuk we will go. He richacha. He butchuk we will go. He he Many have abandoned you, even as I'm talking, I'm not seeing nothing around you. That is your manger experience. As I'm talking, things are not the way you plan it, that's the manger experience. Every great man goes through it, that's where God starts from you. If you never read there, heaven will not locate you until you enter there. He is Stretch your right hand. We are never life have dumped you. Condition have left you. May grace found you this week. May grace locate you this week. May God turn it around to your favor. Somebody have a grace. If men knew that it was Christ coming, they would have done high service if they knew that time. But they didn't, they didn't know. And that's why you there, they didn't know your value. That's why they are talking to you anyhow. Relax. God doesn't make mistake. He knows how to arrange it. Arrange it, God. He will arrange it. He will chuck in where go ye. He will chuck in where God. He will chuck in where go to pay. He will chuck in where go ye. He has Now look at your Bible again. Look at where I take my conclusion this morning. Maya Kaba Sundeleva. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah, in the days of Herod the king, the Herod was still there, the man who don't like stars. And here the king was born. 
Many of you ask God, why am I born in this family? We have wickedness too many. Because we are the Messiah they are looking for. You are the helper, the, the solution. And that's why God sent you because there is a lot of wickedness. There are a lot of evil men. There are people who don't like good things. Their wickedness there cannot bring you down. Rather it will make you. You didn't hear what I said. I'm talking to somebody watching me. I don't know where you are hearing me. You enter there, you are asking God, why? Why they bomb me for this kind of family? Zed, brother, God is aware. You didn't come by mistake. You were well packaged. Even though you are not enjoying it, but it will work better at last. Switch your hand this week. May grace find you. Hear me, I don't know who is representing. Herod means a man who don't like you. So, whether he's in the office, in the shop, do you know what he tells them? He said, root thou in the midst of your enemy. He said to David again in Psalm 23, he said, I will prepare a table before you, before you. In the presence, they will not be absent. So, why are you asking God why? He knows you are there and you have what it takes to conquer them. You didn't hear me? And as you rise up, Roa M and Trita, they will not conquer you. No, Rema, you didn't get it. I decree, as you stand up and roll M and Trita, receive grace to win every battle. Amen. Amen. Say that. Hear me. They may not even believe who you are. They may not believe there is anything inside of you. But with time. Not time. My sister, don't cry. You gonna sing in your tomorrow. One thing I know, and it's definitely in my heart. My tomorrow shall be brighter than today. My tomorrow shall be greater than today. Today may not be sweet, but tomorrow is better. This Christmas may not be as you expected, but this year may be your season. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every human being has his own season. And I provoke heaven to release your season. I wish I can get amen from you. Between now and 2022, your season will show. Your time will manifest. Your season will show. Your time will manifest. You are looking down on me very soon. He can win your banner. It's not by power, but he can come out by my spirit. How great victory is mine when I shout, my enemies go blind. <laughs> 2022, as you shout, your enemies will be blind. You don't know, shout. I want to hear even that carry shout. 2022, as they hear your voice, they'll be on the run. You are looking down on me very soon. It's not by power, but it can come out, but by my spirit. How great victory is mine when I shout, my enemies go blind. If you say amen, may God blind them. Jesus was born in Mendia, the king of kings. Even as some women today, they will begin calling their husband. You know, try at all. We can marry with this one. If we've born the first one, we are go to the stay. Second one, we are will come, but not does be. But Mary didn't bother. Hey, chick up, wait, show me. 
Now, well, let me shock you. Bible told us that Mary was a virgin. In the other way, and he was a child of God, dedicated. Both yourself. But why things we are not working well? Today, now some believers say, hey, I'm not going to go to church again. See my life, see as it be. The symbol of our Christianity is not a crown, but a cross. He said, deny yourself, carry your cross. Follow me. No complaint. That, you didn't know at that time they would doubt it. Now this one won't punch Jesus. People will no see food, job. This one. We no get money. You no get house. Now they, God himself. You know what you they talk? I bet close mouth. That was why in John chapter 1 they say, Can there anything go come out of now? Because we are the bomb. Now that house, who, who they there? Who they know? Hey, see, hey, I know man ready, my leave it. I know it's not far from me. Yeah. I know when he shall arise, the world we know that my redeemer live. I know, I know, I am very sure. I know it's not far from me. I know when he shall arise, the world we know that my redeemer live. Hear me, I don't know who, where you are hearing me. I don't know how ugly is your situation. Even at this, they are talking Christmas. No Christmas around you. All you are seeing is tears and pain. That is a major experience. A place you don't want to be, but you find yourself. A place where you are, but it's not pleasant at all. But God is aware. He knows. He knows. He's aware. God, why? Don't ask him why. He's arranging it. He knows the time. No, oh, God, give it to me. I'm dying. No, you won't die. That's why you never die. God, there is something he prepared for you. Men is talking, yes, allow them to talk. If men never talk, put for your life, you never complete. Did they mock me? Yes, they must mock you so that God can give you double. At times, the mockery of men can turn to prayer into your life. You didn't know. Oh, you didn't hear me. Pastor, they don't like me at all. Did they like Jesus? He's all rejected him. So if the world rejected him, he told us that they will also reject us. So when they reject you, that's a sign you're a child of God. He goes sitting. Hope you're very. Hope you're very. Mother cannot know you long. He be a rat na potam. Who me can go solo? Never tell you. Never tell you. He goes sitting. I don't know who I'm talking to there. As I'm talking, nothing in your final, nothing at all. God, I should tell you, that is your major experience. And that is a good Christmas. There was a year in my life. 25th, I locked myself. Then I was normal. I think year 2000, 25th of December. That year, I lost a dear person. 2nd of December, 2000. Year 2000. 25th of December. Everywhere I read. In fact, I read. If the past read, if I read, past read. In fact, past read. It too read. I don't know. I was living at Fredo with them. Early morning, Christmas. Thank God for that sister. Who is still a member of Wednesday prayer till tomorrow. She brought cooler of food to me. I said, why are you here? This morning, never come my house. He said, I just remembered you. Because all of them know. You never know. Let me tell you, the highest level of problem is in it. The problem you find yourself that even everybody around you knows your case without being mentioned. They know. So you don't need to hide them. They know. <laughs> you say you will carry my Lord. You say you will be my, my God, God, oh Lord. I, I am in your presence. presence to have my I own portion. portion. I am your presence. She brought the food to me. 
I said, what do you bring? She said, I brought you food. I know today. People are happy, at least. We need to encourage you. I said, so that's why I brought cooler. He said, yes. I said, very sorry. Carry your cooler, go back. He said, what? You did reject the food? I said, no, make it no spoil. I'm not in the mood of eating today and tomorrow. He said, serious? Fast. I said, now you see me so. Now because I hear your voice, now make me open this door. Today, now me and God, I want face him. I don't want face human being. Let me face my creator. Hey. When you are in pain, leave men out of it. Face God. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Now you go be solve your problem, but don't be who me. Anymore, Jesus is alive. Praise God, you confess tomorrow. He understands what you are passing through today. Let him defend this day. Live before God, don't worry yourself. Live before God, don't cry anymore. Jesus is alive. Understand what you are passing to today. Let me defend this Wave your hand, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Sit down. Now hear this. What am I trying to say? Major experience. No man prays for it. Joseph never fasted and prayed and said, God, I want to go bomb this speaking for inside we animal day. Mary didn't pray for it. There are things you find, places you find yourself. You didn't choose it, but you will survive. Grace will sustain you. So she said, you reject, I said, I reject the food, not because I forbid to eat from what you brought, but today, tomorrow, no need. And if you keep it here, Nana, to give me work, go to wash school, I want no use. That one be like punishment now. She can't they laugh. I said, please, give it to who? And at the same time, I go, wait, somebody would have made use of it. Allow me to face my life. It's an assignment until I get the answer. Now, hear this. Hear me. Christianity, we are, if you declare your voice and surrender to Jesus, get ready for anything. You know, you may not like this, but that's the truth. If you didn't prepare for anything, if anything come, you will run away. Jesus, the man told Jesus, say, allow me to go and bury my father. He said, allow the dead. He said, he that put his hand to the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom. We don't go, we don't go. That's why Paul said, I'm persuaded nothing. I have seen all. No big life. I've been at death. Nothing present. He said, except the one to come. The devil never, he said, I have made up my mind. Nothing can separate me. Chuku, onye we mo, onti ki yon bule so yon so ni mo bi, chine ka mage ya. Oka di me si ma ho, ni ka ko si ne si ya. Me kwa kala samara, kaka ki di nye kwa ram. Ni ye che me kwa ram, po ni yon jo, ni le. Jehovah, 
Mary went through it. The one, Mary and Joseph, it wasn't sweet for them. That's what I wanted to get there. If I brought, I go to my conclusion. They didn't pray for it, but they gone through it. You know one thing I saw about God is a commander that cannot be command. I told you when I told God, I said, if you not do this, I go tear my Bible. God said, tear them today. Now, no wait, no wait for tomorrow. He said, kissing it plus you, minus you. Now God has still been. No, nothing is missing. Nothing is broken. Complete God. You don't need a man to be the God you are. You have chosen to call me your own. You are God from beginning through the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You know, when I look at that woman in the book of Luke chapter 2 Hannah by name whom went through pain but was a woman of grace married, the marriage didn't last didn't have a child, a widow but she lived her life interceding in the temple, if not today go ask and say wait till they pray, this prayer they work for you and believe me his prayer was redeeming others, delivering others, but he was in, she was in pain. And yes, she refused to be distracted. Begin, you know, get. Husband, when you marry, not even last. And yet, you say you've intercessor. Do you think the people didn't mock her? Answer me. Answer me. Do you think people don't mock her? You sabi pray. They pray people out. You don't pray yourself out. People, where they pray for, they even get children. Now, the money that they look for. They get husband, their own, no die. Upon how you pray, upon the level of your intercession, your husband no last. Picking you no born. Yet to they leave for church. Marry again, you don't even marry. You don't see who even ask whether you want marry. And yet, now, check, look at what shocked me. Do you know she was among the line people who God have ordained to witness the Messiah? Even in her pain, she run her race and never got distracted. I know this one is hard to take. You were praying out others. I don't know. Let me tell you, ministry, that is the hardest one. You pray for people, they get blessed. They get money. But what you are praying for them to get, you don't get. Oh, you know, hear me. One day you go, verse, I know they pray again. Go on. If, what you want to do? Jim Lenny, Dim Mao, Hanaya Roku Kae. Chimle idema ihikuru keme Okwensonebu you are the lord Okwensonebu you are the lord Okwensonebu 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 you are the lord Who the command him She prayed, waiting in the house, waiting for redemption. And yet, what do you get? No be house you get, no be husband you get, no be children that makes every woman fulfilled. Husband, not even the papa. But yet, she lived in the temple, interceding for others. Christianity is all about sacrifice. Do you know what is sacrifice? Something that is not convenient, but you are doing it willingly. With all happiness. You know, you know, be say you choose another thing, choose you. <laughs> Switch your hand. I'll pray for you. I don't know who I'm talking to. May, may your pain never make you deviate. May what you are going through never kill your prayer life. Rise up, declare that amen three times if you agree with me. See that the truth is, it's not easy. But that is Christianity for you. Have you read the book of Genesis 22? 
when God said to Abraham, now I know verse 14. What, what, at what point? When he was about to slaughter the only child. God said, now today I know say they serve me. Now what are the prayer you need to pray? You hearing me there? Ask God. Have you confirmed my salvation? Some of us, our salvation have not been confirmed. Even though we have been coming for 10 years, 20 years. But our salvation, God is yet to confirm it. You know, when you're working in an institution, they never confirm you as a worker. You are still a part-time. They can sack you anytime. <laughs> you never hear me. He said, he told Abraham that he said, now I know. After hundred and something years. When he has served God, spent over 50 years, God said, and now I know. Before, you were making noise. Now, today I confirm your salvation. If you can release the only thing that makes you happy, I think there's nothing you cannot give me. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Who oh, come to the Father through Jesus, the Son. And give him that glory, great things he has done. Go back to that Matthew chapter 2. We read verse 2, right? Have we read verse 2? Matthew chapter 2, verse 2. The Herod went, I mean, then Herod, when he had privilege, Call the wise men, inquire of them diligently what time they start appeared. Now, what, what, what am I trying to get you to see in this verse 7? Herod was there, was ready to kill the star. I pray for you, no man will kill your star. I don't know who I'm praying for. No matter what they have done to you, may they never murder your star. Your destiny help us, may they never pollute their mind. Let me hear your amen like thunder three times. He was ready to fight the star. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say no body. Now look at verse 11. Verse 11. And when they were coming to the house, now remember it was in a manger, a place where animals live, where Christ was born. Now this wise man came in the play, came into the house and saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they did what? They fell down and worshipped the baby that was wrapped inside the place where animals sat. And worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasure, they presented unto him gifts. Gold. Frankincense. Now watch this. The ones that were born in the hospital that time, do they receive any gift? But the one where they born, where they don't get addressed, received a, a gift made for king. Gold. Frankincense. Amen. Hear me. God knows where you are. You didn't answer me. I said, God knows your address. This is it. May God send the wise men to locate you. Men that have what you are looking for, they will locate you. They will look for your address. They will locate that shop. They will locate your house. They will not miss your address. Can I hear your amen three times? You are the king of heaven and the air. You are the king of heaven and the earth. They open their treasure. Stretch your two hands to where this old. May men give you the best they have this season. 
Now remember, Mary and Joseph, they didn't have gold. But the wise men came from far. They offered them gold. They, do, do they ask for it? No. This week, I bow my knee on this altar. They may offer you what you are looking for without you asking from them. If you say that, amen, three times, angel, call favor, locate your house. <laughs>